why it's five o'clock in the fucking morning. I feel delirious. But we're going to Angkor Wat for the sunrise, so let's go. You can come with us, let's go. We actually need to hurry the fuck up, otherwise we're gonna miss it. This is the fit, because you need to have everything covered, basically. <laughs> we're just gonna make it, I think. It's already starting to lighten up. It's purple. Easy. We're power walking, which isn't good, because the skirt I'm wearing is way too big and falls around. So, it falls around. Maybe my, falls around, falls <laughs> down. My vocabulary, not working, brain not switched on yet. But Anchor what is they actually made it the eighth wonder of the world recently. So that shows you how incredible it is. So gorgeous. There's a little bit of the temple there. Definitely made it just in the nick of time. It looks very beautiful. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen the sun look so big. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe my eyeballs. I have to put my sunglasses on because it's so fucking bright. I am burning my corneas. So we've come to this temple, which I didn't realize is 600 steps up to the temple. And I just, I cannot, I'm so hot. I've only eaten fucking half a banana. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I. I can't do it. I'm just exhausted. We've been walking around so much for the past few days in 40 degree heat. I just can't do it. So I've told Jamie to go up and have a look and I'm just waiting for him. And that's just the way it gotta be sometimes. I'm just simply not in the mood to walk up 600 flights of stairs. Not 600 flights, 600 ind individual steps, but that's still a lot for me. That's a lot for mommy. Okay, so this is the temple where Tomb Raider was filmed. So Angelina Jolie has walked across these steps. If I ever met Angelina Jolie, I would die on the spot. I think she is the most incredible, phenomenal woman and the most beautiful woman to ever exist. And wow. Until January again, it yeah. will fall, fall down again. Come for Brecky. I am ravenous. Absolutely ravenous. We've done like 10,000 steps. It's half nine. I'm so hungry. This cafe is so cute. We've been a few times now. It's like a little library. A little green juice to quench the thirst. Mmm. This is a cucumber. That, it tastes, you know, a, a really healthy one. Yeah. Good thing to have in the morning though. Cleanse the system out. I wish you could smell these. They smell so good. It's pumpkin pancakes with sauteed apples, bananas, a ginger glaze, and then I asked for some peanut butter on the side. Obviously, they look so yummy. Jamie got the vegan fry up. I've had this, it's yummy. Especially the mushroom. Mommy's hungry. Ooh, feel yeah. it. Look at the glaze pouring out. A bit of peanut butter. Mm. Delicious. Devoured. We've been wandering round, not wandering round, driving round, looking for a matcha. We found one. We're going to the cutest little matcha cafe before this and they had a full soy milk menu and I was so excited I was gonna get the soy milk frappe and then they said they were out of stock of soy milk this place looks pretty cute it's on the prettiest little street let's go they look so gorgeous very almondy guys I got another one because I'm unhinged and they gave me a little but I ate it and it was so yummy and I dunked it in and it's with coconut milk so it's nice and thick. They use like tinned coconut milk here when they use coconut milk. Look at my little horns, my little sweat hair horns. Um, so I dunked it in in the thick coconut milk and it was so scrummy. Are you jealous of my cookie? Very jealous. How do we acquire you a little cookie? Good morning, I've just woken up so you'll have to excuse me. I'm so puffy. Um, but I didn't film anything else yesterday. Hi! The staff here are so cute. I didn't film anything in the afternoon yesterday because I was so tired. I'd had two or three hours sleep the night before because we had to get up so early and I just couldn't sleep. So I was exhausted. 
but we just lay by the pool for like four hours once we got back we went for dinner and it was so so delicious i'll put some clips in from my phone but we got sweet and sour tofu with rice which was so good and then we had good morning darling morning. want to say hello hello are you filling up the water bottle um, we had sweet and sour tofu with rice and then we had this, oh, I've forgotten the name of it, I'll have to put the name of it in because it was so yummy. It was this fermented tofu and coconut milk dip and then you had it with crunchy crudités and it was one of the most delicious things I've ever tried in my entire life. We just shared that one but I definitely need to go back and get it for myself because it was so yummy. I feel like I haven't really sat down and explained this video but basically we got to Cambodia three or four days ago and we have a month here we have a month-long visa so we're just traveling around the whole country for a month we're in Siem Reap right now which is such a gorgeous city we've actually been to Cambodia before but we only had 10 days here so this time we have a whole month to explore so it's gonna be fantastic Siem Reap I think is one of the most gorgeous cities in the entire world it's such an underrated place for people to go when they come into Asia it's incredible there's so much culture here and so many cute restaurants and just the locals are so so sweet I love you here let's go for brekkie and then the gym and then a matcha obviously here she is the trusty bike and my cutie pink helmet please thank you it's a cutie pink helmet but she definitely doesn't look like a cutie in the cutie pink helmet <laughs> Here it is, the same place we came yesterday and the day before. I look like such an egg. An egg? A hard boiled egg. Jamie's getting the pancakes which I had yesterday which were fucking unreal and I'm getting the vegan fryer. I was in a savoury mood today, a savoury mood. And we need to try and find a gym with some bloody aircon. Sounds like a Christmas song. Sounds like it should be in Home Alone. A little iced tea to quench the thirst in the morning. I can't even remember what was in it. Pineapple, ginger, lemongrass. Mm. Refreshing. Can I try? I'll try. Have a little try of my juice. Shake it work. The pancakes, I can smell them from here. They smell delectable. Scrambled tofu, kale, spinach of some kind, tomatoes. These taste like pizza tomatoes. You know when you make passata for a pizza. Not passata. Not passata. What's it called? Marinara. They taste like marinara. And these are the most delicious mushrooms. They taste nice and meaty. They're so yummy. I'm a salt and pepper. Yeah. Twirl in the spinach round like it's spaghetti. Mm. Say, do you want the last bite? I say, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> this is the gym, Anchor Fitness. It looks very nice. So, this is only $5 for a day pass, which is okay for a nice gym, I think. And I'm not going to do anything oh, crazy because I'm a little bit zonked from all the heat and the walking around for the past few days. I'm just going to do some Pilates or yoga or something, just make something up as I go along. I bought some water and some electrolytes because I feel like I am running low on the old electrolytes just from the pure amount that I am perspiring while I'm here. You can definitely get cheaper gyms here. The one that Jamie's been going to is 75 cents, which is like 40p or something. But like I said, it doesn't have aircon or fans, so no bueno. In she goes. Did you do the full sachet? It looks really big. Oh, I've made a mess. I'm sorry, mommy, I've made a mess. Not sponsored, not sponied. It's actually such a nice gym. It's so spacious. I always just watch a YouTube video while I'm doing my workout. It makes the time pass a lot quicker. Hi. I 
heard this almighty bang and I was like, what the fuck is that? It made the room shake. I was like, what, what is happening? And then I turned around and it was Jamie flipping over that giant fucking tire. Guys, this is definitely TMI, but I just did a down with dog and did the loudest queef. <laughs> it was so loud. Thank goodness everybody has their headphones in right now. The challenges of being a woman. Show us your top. It's tie-dye? Ombre. <laughs> Yeah, she is. She looks pretty gorgeous. It's yummy. It's very yummy. It hasn't blown my socks off, but it's scrummy. Scrum diddly unctuous, and I would drink it again. The soy milk's really nice. Yup. It is so hot. Hot. Put the fan, the aircon, and it's not even touching the bloody sides. I need to. I'm gonna drink this. And then go and submerge myself in the pool. And then I suppose I should show you around the hotel as well because it's so pretty. Also, I bought some matcha powder from the shop yesterday because everywhere we go after Siem Reap, there ain't no matcha on the menu, especially on the islands because the islands that we're going to are really, really rural. You can't even, there aren't really even any food shops on the island. And I thought I would buy a little packet of matcha so I could make one in our little beach bungalows. Because I can't go weeks on end without matcha. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the girls in that shop were so sweet. They were so cute and lovely. I'll definitely go back. They have a matcha frappe, which I wonder if they could do with soy milk for me. I love a matcha frappe. Oh my god, I look so red. I'm not even red in real life. Well, I must be. This must be picking up what I can't see. Ah! Uh, Tommy! That's good. Ah! Uh, Tommy! You do it. Uh, Tommy! Awful. Well, maybe I need another because this one. No. This one hasn't touched the sides. Uh, ooh. I'm feeling the matcha poo. The rumble in the jungle. Oh, I do need a poo poo. Oh, you don't want to go in there for another three to five business days. We love her. Mm. Right, I think I need to go in the pool. Fully submerge my head under it. Usually I can't get my hair wet in the pool because I have bleach at the ends. But I think this one is fresh water. So it doesn't turn my hair green, which is fantastic. Fantastic. You're not going in there, are you? No. Oh, it's fantastic. Good luck. Good luck. Hold your nose. <gasps> <laughs> this room is about £20 a night. It's fucking huge. It's very messy with all of our shit. I do apologise. Very, very cute. Although, the aircon, because it's such a big room, this isn't a complaint. I'm just telling you, the aircon, because it's such a big room, like this, stays quite cool. Any point from this, it's like a sauna. It's like walking into a sauna because the aircon just doesn't reach the whole room. So we asked for an extra fan. We also have a fan up there. So it's okay. This is out the front. We've got a very quiet room. You literally don't hear anything at night here. Gorgeous. I swear to God, the heat makes you stupider. I feel like my brain is working at 5% capacity and I keep going to speak and say words and it's just not coming out right. My sentences aren't forming correctly. Not forming correctly. I swear to God, it's the heat. It just makes you slow. Slow like a sloth. So I feel like I just need to lie by the pool for a little bit and just not use my brain. Oh, I need to have my iron, actually. Your girly has low iron. Yes, indeed, she does. So, little bottle of liquid iron because i find liquid iron is a lot better than the tablets because they it absorbs quicker because it's liquid and this is pretty disgusting it just tastes like straight up syrup it's like black it's quite gross quite gross but needs must things that are good for you often don't taste good because they're all natural actually this probably isn't all natural i think it's like got a lot of sugar in Okay, let's go to the pool. 
cutie little bikini very cheeky bikini i love a slutty bikini i'm not gonna lie I'm not a swimsuit girly i like a little itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today i got this in um where did i get this bali so, so let's walk to the pool shall we there's a little restaurant in there but we haven't eaten there so i don't think they really do any neat free things and this is the pool oh it's nice and quiet it's very very gorgeous very very gorgeous indeed there's a little bar there you can get drinkies oh perfect one towel left just for me <laughs> Okay, cherubs, we're gonna go for a smoothie to cool down. A cold, delicious smoothie. So let's go. I got the blueberry protein smoothie. It's got peanut butter, blueberries, protein powder. I can't remember what else. Jamie got the chunky one. The millionaire's one. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a little afternoon matcha because I am so tired. I just need a little pick me up, and this is the first time I've made myself a matcha in four months so i might be a little bit rusty but i have the matcha powder do open oh, god damn it ah oh, you little see you next tuesday open mm. <laughs> i'm gonna cry this stuff frustrates me so much open <sighs> thank god that was becoming quite unbearable Mmm, that smells really good actually. Okay, so let's put some matcha in the water. A little bit more. And I bought this Cambodian cinnamon honey from the supermarket. It was $5, but I thought I would treat myself. So let's get some of that in there. Do, 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 do. Whoa, that whisk is crazy. This whisk has a lot of power. Okay, and then we're gonna use my special cup with cinnamon roll on the side. Cinnamon honey for cinnamon roll. It's meant to be. Do you think time will pass me by? Cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could they've got some soy milk oh it's got a little seal please no more seals oh this is chaotic it's chaotic oh come on why do all seals hate me today i'm a good person please I'm a good person who just wants who just wants a little matcha latte in the afternoon. It's not too much to ask. It smells like good soy. <laughs> Said no one ever. Pop that in there. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? Guys, my first matcha pour, and I don't even know how long will I do four months. I actually just broke the straw. No! Oh shit, I just stood on the glass. My god, what is wrong with me? Luckily, I have a straw. That was, that would have broke eventually. I'll just go back tomorrow and get a new one. I'm out for dinner with a very handsome man. People on TikTok say he looks like Hosier. Hosier, what's he called? Hosier, who's Hosier? Mishinger? Never heard of him. 
Yes, you bloody have. What's that TikTok? I got that. This was called the peace salad. Got a whole range of veggies in there, some cashews, and then I asked to add tofu, and then we're sharing these rolls. This is so yummy. It's got like an orange dressing. Very unique flavor, very delicious. Mmm. Fucking love cashew nuts. Say one thing about Eric Gibson. Fucking loves cashew nuts. On my tombstone, it will say, fucking loved cashew nuts. Mmm. got scrambled tofu, this toast under there, and then I got pickled veg and spinach on the side. Yum. Okay, so today is the last day we can use our Anchor Wat Pass. So, we're gonna go for a few hours, have a look around the temples. I'm gonna leave my camera here because I just wanna be able to enjoy it without getting my camera out and whatnot. And I feel like it'd be quite boring for you just to watch footage of temples without actually being there, do you know what I mean? And my camera has one bar, so I'm gonna leave it on charge while we go out. But I'll see you later. Love ya. Mwah. Also that brekkie was lovely, you should definitely go there. It's called the Little Red Fox Espresso. If you're ever in Siem Reap, you should go. All the staff are really cute. And it's a non-for-profit organization. And the food was very yummy. We got a double portion, which we probably didn't need to because it was fucking huge. It was huge, but it was very yummy. Yeah! What's up guys? Just got back from dinner. Um, I didn't take the camera because to be honest, I was having a bit of a panic attack. Out of nowhere, this happens to me. I just needed to go out and not film. You know what I mean? Anx just anxiety things. You did regret it though. Did regret what? Not taking the camera because it was so nice. The dinner? Yours was nice, mine wasn't that nice. Oh, I thought you meant the whole day. No, no. 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 But it's about to go off for dessert. It's about to go off, son. Ask them. Ask them what? Do you know the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? Went to this place called the Muffin Man and they had vegan. Jamie! They had vegan. Come on. <laughs> Jamie's got the zoomies. They had vegan desserts. So, my God, I look like Miss Trunchable. They had vegan desserts. So I got banana bread, Jamie got chocolate cake, which looks sublime. Then we also just went to this gelato place and got a scoop of ice cream each. So it's gonna be great. And I need it because we walked so much this week and in the heat, I think you burn so much energy. I feel like I have no life left inside of me. I think that's also why I felt so anxious this afternoon because I've just been running around in the heat. I need a, need a lazy day tomorrow. So, dessert's gonna be litty. What's happening on this screen? Orson's kissing Evie. Yeah, Orson's kissing Evie. And they're only 10 seconds in. And we're gonna watch Desperate Housewives. Ooh. We're gonna watch Desperate Housewives because we've been, oh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got coconut ice cream and this is banana bread with nuts. I think I can see some raspberries in there. I need to eat it quick because that ice cream is melting. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we had a very long sleep, it was very needed, but we're feeling a little bit groggy. Groggy. We're gonna go for breakfast. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Wowza. Just what the doctor ordered on this hot, hot morning. Oh my God. So thick. Oh my god. Wow. Hello. So I didn't film anything yesterday because we just had a lazy day. We didn't really do anything. Nothing at all. But today's a travel day. We're leaving CM Reef to go to a place called Batambong. And it looks very cute. It's like a little village. And it's a three hour bus drive there. I think it's going to be a very small, hot, sweaty bus. But I quite like a travel day. I like just going on my phone watching Gossip Girl for a few hours, so. Bye, room. I'll miss you. A lovely week spent in here. It's been glorious.
Oh, the hotel brought us tea and dragon fruit. How cute. Okay, so this is the room. They've given us a little oil diffuser burner. So cute. And then, do do do. Little kettle area, free water. Some snacks, how cute. A little tub of snacks. And then this is free too, toothpaste and two toothbrushes. Plates and stuff in case you wanna eat some mugs. It's so cute. We've come for a spot for lunch. I don't know if I've said this yet in this vlog. It's quite hot. <laughs> the owner at the hotel says it's actually the hottest month in Cambodia at the minute. Jamie's coffee is like a little art piece. You could put it in the MoMA. Beautiful. I got a little ice cream tea. Cheers. Mmm, that's really nice. Scrum. Diddly bumptious. Yummy. I found gluten-free toast, which makes me so happy. A little stir fry. Look at this guy. He's got his dog in his basket. He's got his Crocs. He's just living life. He's enjoying life. Hi, it's the next day. Well, for Brecky, I just bought these little earrings. How cute are they? Um, I found gluten-free bagels. So it's a good day. I got a little ginger tea. Ah, that's so hot. Well done. Would you think this man is 31 soon? Oh my god. I'm so happy. I wish you could smell this. I have a peanut butter school made. Yes, homemade peanut butter. That's so good. I have already had a bite of the other piece. Mmm. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh yeah. Okay Cherubs, I've just spent about five and a half hours in a cafe with Jamie Boy editing this video. So I think I'm gonna finish it here so I can just upload it. It's quite a long one this week, but I wanted to make a long one because I personally love watching vlogs on YouTube that are like over 30 minutes long. If one if somebody wants to upload a 60 minute long vlog, I'll watch it and I'll enjoy it. If you like the longer ones let me know and I'll keep making them longer because I never really know how long to keep filming for and how long to make them, do you know what I mean? But we're just gonna go out for some food tonight to the same place that we went yesterday because it was so yummy and we got talking to the owner and she had this box of biscuits or crackers or something up on the counter next to the kitchen and we were eyeing them up all night and we got talking to her about whatever and then we eventually asked her what what was in the box and she said to come back tomorrow and you can try them she's going to surprise us with whatever they are i'm hoping they're going to be some kind of sweet biscuit that would be a nice little treat but yeah it's very very hot still take a shot every time i've said that it's hot in this video and you'll be off your fucking face but i hope you've enjoyed it cambodia is very beautiful and all the locals are so nice and obviously i have a month here so i will film a few more vloggies and next we're going to the islands which is going to be so fun they look so gorgeous they're supposed to be the Maldives of Asia just really blue crystal water and white sand so I'm very excited for that and we'll actually be there for Jamie's birthday how old are you gonna be darling 31 31 31 31 and it'll be our anniversary our eight year anniversary Eight. Eight. Yeah. I think it's eight on the same day. So we'll have a little celebration. I love you. I hope you have a gorgeous day, whatever you're doing, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Mwah, mwah. Kisses and hugs and rugs. <laughs> Bye. Swagger down the street with your red lips and funky beat. You better hold your head up to the sky. I'm gonna roll with you to the day. I die